Hello from Chinichi.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I would like to do this exciting video to show you my uh, Blackbird, Droves Blackbird air gun. So after a little video on the normal Droves, which is this one, let me show you again. Normal Droves pistol, uh, which is also very cool, but not the best. The problem is with the CO2 consumption, as I said. Um, the CO2 really runs out fast. And that's one problem because when you're using this gun, you can get like one meg and maybe half a meg and your CO2 is running so low that maybe it will freeze up, maybe uh, your power is like dripping BBs and stuff like that. No fun, right? So with the Blackbird, okay, you can run it on neither 88 gram CO2, which is not good, or you can use three 12 gram CO2. But what I want to show you today it's different. It's HPA setup. I know you guys may have been searching on YouTube for this and you encounter some other videos too. But it's never a harm to see my video. So let's go. This is the gun. Okay, the main main body. Okay. It doesn't come with this rail. I put this on myself and it doesn't come with all the accessories of course but it has the reaver rail right here for you to mount anything and i also changed the barrel because the old one is wear, worn out so yeah new barrel and this is the stock everything is plastic z but the firearm kind of plastic and this thing here it's a bit rubbery i think it's rubber okay and i got a sling going here so okay basically you know like that and people were asking me, what were you putting on here? It looks so cool. Well, this is, you may see this in like games like Battlefield and stuff like that. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, I'm not gonna open the uh, other end so you can see through it. It's black, right? Okay. Now I will turn the light on and let you see. Okay, can you see? Okay, you see the dot? Great, that's the red dot. Okay, now green. Can you see the green dot? Okay, see? Okay, green dot. Okay, red and green dot sight. And then you pull this thing over. Now this is a magnify glass. So, do this, but, well, I don't know what to do. Maybe like that? Yeah, I think you sort of see. It's a very magnified thing. There we go, you see? It's so magnified, eh? And if I put the thing away, norm, normal size, okay? So it gives you a three times um, multiply vision, like it's turned your uh, red dot and green dot into a scope all of a sudden. So this is my setup, okay? And also here is the Lumentop TD15X uh, flashlight, which I can just turn on. Wow, very cool, okay? So that's the gun. Everything is like the Droves Blackboard, except that you have a plug here for plugging the hopper. And also we got batteries here, okay? Check if the battery's online. Okay, good. So everything is good, and we'll take the other parts and assemble the gun together. Okay guys, so welcome back. Uh, we just set up the gun. You see we put the hoppers on, a surefire light right here, very cool. Acts also as a foregrip. Nice, uh, nice ergonomic design. We have a close range light. See the two LED, very close range. Good for checking at locks and stuff like that, something close. And then we got a bright one right here just to shine it at your face. And then we got an ultra bright one here. So we have a lot of light set up, you see, a lot of light. Okay, so beside that, now what about the CO2? Now say bye bye to CO2 because they're expensive to shoot. Now we got 1,070 rounds inside the hopper here for us to shoot. And so why do we need CO2? We need something more uh, crazy than CO2. Tank, okay. this is a 48 cubic inch ninja tank with regulator, regulator set to 850 PSI, which is very standard. You can use higher PSI for uh, higher power, whatever you like. Okay, so yeah, 
basically it's safe to use 800 PS uh, uh, 850 psi because it is just about the same as co2 so won't overpower the gun too much so what you want to do is put the thing around the waist right here like so okay make sure the tank is connected to my little not little but hose remote hose and have the thing here <laughs> now you can see it easier like that put together and snap there you go Okay, now there are no BBs coming up because the power is not on. Okay, good. Now snap it back, plug the uh, thing. Okay, all I need to do right now is to gas it up. Okay, point the gun in a safe direction. Just make sure the connection is good. And then you turn up this little knob, turn it, and you feel a click coming. Okay, air comes up. And now the gun is gassed up. Okay, all you do is turn on the power. You hear it? Now that's when the BB and goes up. Okay, very nice. So now let's take some shot over there, and we will be shooting this gun to test it out. Let's go, guys. Okay, as you can see the grouping it's fairly very very tight it's almost hole to hole okay right now I'll be shooting in six round bursts guys okay, six round bursts in a higher power I mean higher rate of fire six shots You see the uh, the kind of power you get and the uh, accuracy is awesome. See guys, the uh, the amount of uh, shots you can put in that little hole, awesome. Look at that. Okay, ready? And. Let's get up and get our Mr. Sprite up. Okay, the Mr. Sprite fell off when I shot this one, but it was really, really good. Really good hit. Okay. Let's take a look, guys. Shine a light over. Oh, it's too hard to see on the camera. Okay guys, you see, machine gun style, it's keep, wow, like it goes in from uh, from the back, from the front, very awesome. The kind of feeling you get with this gun is totally different compared to a normal uh, air rifle because you can shoot in uh, burst mode and it, it's a real burst mode, not like how some burst mode is like they just push out three BBs at a time. This is actually one after another. Very machine gun style. Okay guys, uh, that was awesome. Everywhere, just to try to use it up. Okay guys, so after we are done and we want to um, finish up the session, what do you do with uh, HPA? Very easy. Let me show you right here. First thing you want to do is unplug. You want to unplug, unplug this, okay? Turn the power uh, on, not off. And then for the tank right here, you know, turn off the tank. Do not turn on the tank. 
and then up close to a range or something like this okay you have to shoot empty air now there's no more BBs and air inside the gun you can hear that okay no more air turn off the gun and you're good to go hello guys so that was epic um, didn't do a lot of prinkly because I run out of soup cans but here you go our gun okay we emptied the air inside the hose there's no more battery powering it and we like we pull the cord okay the gun is turned off everything is good okay what we do now is unplug the cord which is very easy and basically that's it so <laughs> you're done okay now let's take a look at my belt if you want to empty all that shot I just shot with CO2 you are not going to be so happy the shot will die down very very quickly and whoa, used a lot of air too <laughs> now it's down to 2,000 PSI it used to be at about uh, 3,000 so 1,000 PSI used and the tank is not cold that's really good and for you guys who don't know HPA tank will not freeze up even you shoot very fast and stuff like that so it's perfect to use with the Droz Blackbird if you use the Droz Blackbird to keep blasting shots out with CO2 it will really 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 be a problem I tried using 88 gram CO2 um, with the Droz Blackbird that's not fun because your shot will die down very fast due to the CO2 freeze up and the faster you shoot the faster you pull the trigger the faster the CO2 will freeze up and your power will drop way down and even with the um, 850 PSI tank the pressure is it's okay and consistent but then I do recommend getting a little higher for more pressure so that your gun can operate uh, flawlessly and uh, I find that if you go up a little bit with the pressure it will it will actually provide you more consistency with the shot so that's basically the idea and uh, right now you can see all you can all you want to do is just pull this out and you can pack your gun very easy now I forgot to tell you guys uh, the seal the, the um, BBs are stored here so all you need to do is take a bottle of BB and then pour it inside that's all you need to do and why do you want to unplug the uh, magazine from like the, the cable at the end it's because you don't want BBs to keep going up that mag to feed the gun while you empty the little bit of air left inside the hose if the hose is kind of almost the end and you turn off the valve there's not enough air to shoot a lot of shots and if you keep pumping BBs up pushing BBs into the breech what happened is some of the BBs will get very very little air to shoot it out and it may not even fly through the barrel it will drop into the motherboard inside or whatever board you call that the board inside the gun and short circuit your board so it will damage the gun and your gun is finished so you don't want to fry your gun up so that's the thing you want to consider always turn the valve off pull the plug empty empty shot just shoot air to finish it off and then you can pull off the hose if you don't do that and you just pull the hose off you're going to get a very loud bang when you go out and it's very dangerous so you don't want that to happen so basically that's how uh, this gun works as you can see our target it's like totally crazy uh, with the pop can it goes in from the bottom the, the front the side anywhere it will go through the pop can soup can it will punch through both sides but I don't have soup can today so too bad and for the target groupings you can see that it's a very tight grouping that I'm getting with uh, steel BB even though I'm not really like trying to rest my gun and aim I was just trying to point and shoot and you can see the grouping is quite impressive too it keeps shooting into the same hole and sometimes because it shoots in the same hole it makes my brain think did I shoot the gun <laughs> but actually no it did like the BBs did went through the same hole so it's really crazy and uh, if you guys ever like get higher pressure tanks for example the um, 
1600 PSI output kind of thing. Wow, this gun is really a boss, blast, big blast. It's really crazy. So, HPA is the real way to go. You get a lot of shots for uh, fill, and it's cheap because all you need to do is pump the tank up with a hand pump, and you're good to go. No need to buy expensive steel too. So, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye bye.